Celebrating for our audience? It's celebrating the canonization of Australia's first saint, Mary of the Cross. And what does her canonization mean to you personally? Um, well, I'm a, I'm a teacher by trade, so uh -huh. for, for me, I, I see uh, what, what her example is, uh, I guess, bringing faith to young people uh -huh. and in difficult situations. And I think right now, Australia is primary mission country. Yes. So, uh, in a different a different sense, perhaps, to what uh, St. Mary of the Cross had to deal with, but mission all the same. If you had to sum up St. Mary of the Cross in one word, what would be that word? Wow. Uh, <laughs> charity. Charity. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. We really appreciate uh, your time. You're most welcome. Thanks, Father Joseph. Thank you. God bless. Uh, my name is Michael Connolly. Michael, what are you doing here today at Notre Dame campus, Fremantle? Uh, today, we're here to... Participate in the celebrations of the canonization of Mary McKillop. And I personally am here with Catholic Youth Ministries. And basically, our main role in the diocese is to get young people involved in their parish or youth groups and help them to know that there's a lot of fun to be had living out a Catholic faith. And there's a lot of other young people who enjoy it and live a really good lifestyle and have a lot of fun. What does the canonization mean to you personally of Mary McCullough? Uh, to me personally, it's, well, from coming from a young Australian's point of view, I love the fact that attention's being brought to a new saint that's being made. A common consensus of what a media is that faith is dead and that God doesn't really have a place in this world anymore. But with all the the attention that's being brought to this canonization, it's really bringing out a lot of the Catholic faith and showing that there is good and holy people still um, being recognized. Yeah. And it is very important. We're hoping that this is going to be viewed by people all around the world. For people that don't know anything about St. Mary of the Cross, in a few words, how would you describe her to them? Uh, in a few words, St. Mary of the Cross was a woman who fought trial basically all her life for what she believed in, what she cared for. And because of her, thousands upon thousands of young people were able to get an education and were able to go through incredible hardship. So, in a few words, Mary McKillop has been one of the pinnacle roles shaping Australia to what we know it is today. And I hope you don't mind if I just add to our audience that I've known Michael since he was a young boy and I used to teach him when he was just a young youth. So it's really inspiring to see you, Michael. And uh, to see you uh, persevering in the faith and being an example to other youth. Thank you, Michael. It's been my pleasure. Could you tell our listeners your name, please? Yeah, my Jack Baker. And Jack, where are you from? Uh, Geelong originally, but live in Perth. Could you, what does today mean to you? Today's, the significance of today's... What, what it means is, my family wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Mary McKinney. Okay. Because uh, my, my grandfather, I'm sorry, my great-grandfather, was one of two kids whose uh, their mother died. And they, uh, one was uh, 11 months old, the other one I think was two and a half in uh, Fitzroy and Melbourne and they uh, were destitute abandoned kids. Uh, the father deserted the family and gone and the mother um, just died. So there's two kids left in uh, the house in Brunswick and uh, in, in uh, sorry, Fitzroy and Melbourne and, uh, and the one Mary McKillop uh, took them in. And, uh, Mary McKillop took them in? Took them in yeah. Amazing. Put them in the Surrey Hills uh, uh, orphanage and then placed them in the family up in the Wimmera in the Wheatbelt in Victoria. And, uh, yeah. and then from there they are, they got an education and they, uh, yeah, they, they developed their own families and you know, they've both long since passed away, but you know, without that, who God knows what would happen to them, you know, if, if, if she had to take them. Yes. Could, what would, someone who never heard of Mary McKillop, what would you say in a few words would describe her charism, her spirituality? 
goodness, social justice. And, um, social justice is the main thing. And I think that's really what the church should be focused on, and needs to focus on. Justice and truth for all. Well, thank you, Jack. We really no appreciate your comments, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. No worries, Cobra. Thank you. Good on you. Uh -huh. what, what is the significance of today for you? They're in a Phillips canonization. Yeah, it's really good because she's the first to really say, yeah, like, really proud to, like, to celebrate it with us. That's great. Well, well, we hope you enjoy the rest of the day and thank you for helping us. All right. Thank you. Can you, would you mind telling your, us your name, please? Yeah, yeah. my name's Cheryl Barrett, and this is Raphael Barrett here. Cheryl, what is the significance of today for you? Oh, it's a great day for Australian Catholics because of the canonization. What do you think is the example that Mary McKillop gives to Australians? Um, not, not to give up with your faith. Yes. And, um, she suffered a lot, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. To just, just stick, by, stick by your faith and stick by Jesus. What no is, what. for someone who never heard of her, in a few words, how would you oh, okay. sum her up? Yeah, in the really strong answer down there. So, a woman of great charity, um, who lived, lived, um, lived her faith. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Could you tell our listeners your name, please? Uh, I'm Kelvin. Kelvin? Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Well, guys, what, what, does, what is the significance of today for you in Australia? <laughs> you want to go first? Want to go ahead, Oliver? Sorry, what's, the what's the significance of this day for you with the canonization of Mary McKillop? Oh, uh, well, the good thing is we don't have a saint here before, so it's the first time we're having a saint in Australia. Good example for all of us. Uh -huh. um, shows us how to live a life and someone we can call on. For, I don't know if you were able to, but for someone who has never heard of Mary McKillop, what would you sum up her, her charism and her spirituality as? Uh, it's beyond this world, I'd say. Beyond this world? Yeah. For her time, um, the problems that she went through, I don't think I'd be able to survive. <laughs> in today's society, impossible. So yes. she's a real legend and real hero for me. Yes. Yeah. Do you think she's a... Uh, uh, an inspiration for young people like yourselves? Oh, definitely. Today's world, we need someone like her. We definitely do. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk thank with you, us. Thank you, Father. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day. You too. No worries. Thank you. Could you give our audience your name? Uh -huh. I'm Pauline Blizzard. Paul, Pauline, what is the significance of today to you? Well, I just think it's so important for us to, for once in our life, be given a model to look up to how to become a saint. And I think it's a great witness to the Australian people that there is a God and he did create us for a reason to help and love one another. And I think Mary McKillop did a very good job in showing that to the people of Australia, all of Australians, the poor and the indigenous people. And just for our land, she was a great witness. How would you sum up Mary McKillop's charism for someone who will never heard of her, her spirit? How would you sum that up? As a caring, giving, and loving person with intelligence. Thank you, Pauline. We appreciate your, your comments. Thank Hope you, you enjoy the rest of the day. So could you tell our audience your name, please? Uh, um, my name's John, John Francis Kelly. John. And I'm Catherine. Catherine? John. Uh, Joseph? Um, and my name is Michael. Michael. Can I ask you, uh, whoever wants to answer, what is the significance of today? Uh, what is the significance for you of what happened today? Well, today, um, a, a present Pope, uh, Pope Benedict XVI, canonized Australia's first Saint Mary McKillop. And I'd just say this is Australia's big day. So, yes. you know, I, I saw on the, the screens that everyone was there at the Vatican. So I, I was really impressed with her. Catherine, what, what is the example that Mary McKillop gives to you? Uh, of like a saint and how she, like a life of, she, she lived a life of suffering. Did uh, she? Yes. yes. And what does that teach you about suffering? Uh, to, if there's any, if there is any suffering to like just completely give yourself to God. Very good. If you were to tell someone who never heard of Mary Mary McKillop in a few words, what she stood for, what would you say? How would you describe Mary McKillop to a child or a young person living across in America? How would you tell them? I'd probably describe her as a saint who worked as hard as she could in the desert land of Australia before it 
was completely settled to just work for people who are sick and dying in it. Very good. Thank you for, for spending the time with us to share with our audience about St. Mary McKilla. Thank you very much. Child of God, bride of Christ, Juraman, and shining light. Through the cross you show hope to everyone, shining in the heart of the great southern land, Saint Mother of the lowly, pray for us. He lifted the head of fallen ones, raising them up. You help them to stand, and with all your heart, you serve the Lord, and through God's love. Care for the poor through the cross you show hope to everyone shining in.